All right, the Lego brick um, uses four brand new tools. Um, and although it's one of the more complicated ones in this activity, it uh, is one of the most fun because it, um, you're building something that's real. Um, so um, I've already built the rectangular prism with the right dimensions, 31.8 wide, 9.6 high, 15.8 deep. Um, I put a sketch on the top face then and drew a circle 4.8 millimeters, dimensioned it at 3.9, and we're ready to extrude it a depth or to a height of 1.8 inches. Okay, so I did some of that to save some time on the video because those are things you should be able to do. And then the next step you'll see is to do the rectangular pattern. Um, so we'll go ahead and select rectangular pattern. First you're going to select your features and again you can click on that inside the uh, on the part or in the browser and then you select your direction arrows and let's, that's going the wrong way so let's flip it back the other way we want four of them across and the distance between them is eight millimeters and then I'll select direction number two which of course that's the wrong way also and the distance between them is eight okay so that gets me my my Lego brick the next step is we're gonna flip around to the bottom and we're gonna shell it out to a thickness of 1.2 so I flip around to the bottom face. I don't even need a sketch. I'm just going to shell it to a thickness of 1.2. Say OK. OK. So now we have a hollow Lego brick. Of course, right now it's not going to plug into other Legos very well. So the next step is we have to build these uh, um, little circular parts and this is, this uses a couple of uh, extra tools that are kind of new to us. Um, so first of all we want to do a sketch on that face so you might even have to zoom in since that lip is really small and make sure that you're gonna put a new sketch on there. And in order to you know we have the yellow edges that's the geometry that's already there but then we're going to want to project the geometry of the studs on the top face. So I selected the project geometry button and clicked that top face. Of course, those already exist. That's why it gave me an error the second time. And now I have all those circular parts there because my those studs have to plug into additional circles. Um, so probably the easiest thing to do is use some geometry tools. I'm just going to sketch three circles and I don't care how big they are because I'm going to use geometry tools. I want to make them tangent to the other studs and if it's tangent to three it's going to be tangent to all four because they're symmetrical. Of course that's blue so it's now fully constrained. And of course, the, the ones that are black are the ones that are moving because we are making them tangent to the, um, to the projected geometry that's reference geometry from the top face. Um, another tool you can do is the offset tool. Now you can do this with a lot of things. This is just a circle. But let's go ahead and offset and that automatically creates three circles. That could offset any any kind of crazy shape that you have. Um, and then let's dimension between those, which is supposed to be half a millimeter. Of course, I don't like putting dimensions. There's an equal constraint. They're all going to be the same. So once I know that size, I can make all of those the same size. Okay, and then finally to finish off the Lego brick, 
um, we would want to select all those little rings and then as, instead of going a specific distance we're going to go to next so then that will automatically connect that to the next face and it was smart enough even to know to change directions so I say OK and now I have my Lego brick of course um, since it is a Lego brick um, we might want to change our material to ABS plastic and then you could make your 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 Lego brick any color you wanted of course we usually think of I usually do and think of red Legos All right, so there's our red Lego brick.